Hello there, and welcome back to Atom RPG. Now where we last left off, we just finished talking to the Wolves of Peregrine, and we're about to head off to Otradnoi to finish the side quest to pick the mushrooms before heading on eventually to Krasnonamunya. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to travel there now and well, we'll see what we can see. I don't imagine it's going to be too difficult, but I'm going to see whether they have anything in the shop that's worth buying as well. So I'll see you there. Huh. You always end up the same way, regardless of where you approach from. See if the gatekeeper has anything to say to us. Hello there, Yan. Hey, how are things? Man scratches his back, flexes his neck muscles. He's probably tired. I've been better, a little relaxed, but it's my third straight day on duty. Uh, can I help you somehow? I believe you can, buddy. Hey, could you perhaps get me a bottle of beer from the local tavern? Just try to be quiet about it. I don't want anyone to see him drinking whilst on duty, you know? Uh, that's understandable. Sure, I'll help you out, and try to be stealthy about it. Oh, thanks, you're a real friend. Hang on, man, don't die there just yet. Okay, so that's pretty nice, the requests that actually continue whilst, you know, you're, you're not on, so... Has it been three days since I've started? I don't quite think so. So, I think... Yeah, so those are the mushrooms I had to pick. And looks like they're surrounded by wasps and... Rats, and also tarantula... So, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can buy anything from the general store and then I'll, I'll ask around. Huh, I didn't expect that. Well, I just asked him whether I could, uh, you know, have a discount since I'm new in town and he's actually accepted this time to give me a 5% off. Pretty nice, actually. <laughs> Looks good, but I have to go. Uh, I'm gonna try and see his wares. Let's see, he does have 30 rounds, 6 apiece. I kind of want that scarf, just so I can make a backpack. Other than that, that's about it. There's not much here in terms of bullets, which is not good. I hope there's some more in the main city, because that had that many 9mm rounds. Mm. Oh well. Let's see if I can sell anything. If those are as rare as they are, I kind of don't want to sell that. His painkill's worth less. Oh no, it's that that was worth so much, but he doesn't have the money for it. Mm. I sold the other pistol already. Don't know whether I should sell those. My inventory's still pretty heavy. But I don't know what I should sell just yet. I might actually sell that booze because I'm not really using it. And toilet paper because I assume it doesn't have any use. Other than, you know, the obvious. I'm probably going to sell about half of these because I don't know how to fish yet. 192 rubles. Yeah, that's not too bad. Could sell some meat, but I do gain experience from cooking it. Might as well hold on to that for now. Especially because I can use it to get health back. It's kind of weird that I can't cook it to just keep in my inventory. That I have to actually have it raw and then I can make a campfire to cook it from. Yeah, I think that's about it for now then. I'd sell that, but he also doesn't have enough money. Right, let's get to looking around then. Okay, let's see if these creatures have any more abilities. I tend to just use a knife for now because I don't want to waste too much ammo. If I get ambushed by people on the road, I'm going to need all the bullets I can get. Oops, why did I walk towards him? Let's step away. Okay, so the same chance to hit, pretty much. I'm still as useless in melee combat as ever. Shell a bit. Make sure of the spider. I wonder whether that's rushing or something as well. Ah, oh, that's a hell of a uh, recoil animation from being stabbed there. Look at it, it flies back. Oops, just realised my health's really low. I forgot about that actually. Oh 
there goes my hunger. Spider brain. It's disgusting to the touch, but fish seem to love it for whatever reason. So it's pretty much the same as ants at every grand. Oh, it's got the eye stalks attached to it. <laughs> the spider's brains look like that? Huh. Guess never really thought about it. Alright, let's try out the wasp as well. I wonder whether it's got like a shooting attack with a stinger. Let's find out. What the hell? Okay, so same chance to hit. Oh, that's not a nice sound. And that's only a worker. I wonder whether there's like a queen or something. One damage. Almost dead. Oh, it has lower health than normal then. Trophy hunters, so that was like the thing that the fisher guy over here was talking about. Alright. Well, let's just have a look then. Did I get more than one, or is this just one? Yep, just one. Guess five more to go then. I'll see you on the other side. Huh? What's that? Ooh, a secret stash. Whoa, I'll try to open the stash. A single round, some of that. Electrical tape and scrap metal. I don't want the scrap metal right now, but that's pretty nice actually. Hmm. I mean, that is only, I think that's toxic, right? That's not actually radiation. Yeah, that is the tox, is that the toxic symbol? Can't zoom in any further. I'm gonna see whether I can get it. Right, let's save just in case. Uh. Oh! Antidote. So I guess that was an antidote to the poison. Yep. So it just taught me a lesson. At least whilst I'm here, I can fill up my water bottles and just do it that way instead of having to use up the antidote. I'm not sure how common that is, seeing as I got most of it from a lab and a pre-war uh, vault, as it were. I wonder whether I can unlock that uh, safe down here. Wait, it's a rat here? That wasn't there last time. Ow. Lucky rat. Go away. God, I don't want to die to a rat. What the hell? What is wrong with this rat? Oh my god. That's a special rat. Well, let's go back with my gun, I guess. I just want to load the autosave because I don't think I can quit to the menu there. There we go. Right, let's take this bitch out. Did it say what it was? No. I might actually use my rifle. I found a worthy foe. <laughs> Barely worthy, but... Where did I put it? There it is. Hey, bitch. Probably gonna kill me again. Wow, 56%? Is it a lot higher with that? Yeah. Oops. Need to change firing type. Wow, 17 damage is only slightly injured. Good lord. What the hell is this thing? And it gets three attacks as well. 120 mouse rings? What? Special? A toy sword. Oh, um, yeah, so this is the nutcracker music. I got the toy gun. 
unless the toy. Wait. Would the. I wonder. Would the toy gun have done anything if I'd tried shooting it with that? Or would it have reacted differently? Let's have a look. Oh, still attacking. Oh. Hmm, I don't know whether I missed or... I'm assuming not. Ow. Brat a tat Yeah, that is what I'm shooting at. Yeah, no. Huh. Well... <laughs> Where's your sword? Um, can I? Oh, uh, I had to equip it. I forgot about that. Uh, toy sword. Gain a golden walnut. A peculiar nut made out of pure gold. Noble metals are slowly gaining their price back, so this little nut can make you a hefty sum of sword. Interesting. I wonder what the relevance of the nutcracker is though here. So there's nothing else in these chests. It's pretty cool though that things can change if you come back. I hope, I really hope those bandits will not have ripped the wires out of that robot. I'd be seriously pissed off. I'm almost tempted to go back there and check. Alright, let's see if we can bust this baby. Can't break the lock. No. Golden wall not have anything on it? No. There's still nothing on any of the walls that would indicate what the code could be. Nothing on you, Mr. Wall. Uh, Mr. Nutcracker. It's strange, but the Nutcracker looks happy. I assume I can't give him a toy gun as well. Shoot him. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back to the surface anyway. I'm gonna go back to getting those mushrooms. You see, photo. Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'm fairly sure that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, and that's Stalker. That's definitely Stalker. <laughs> I think that's a, uh, a poltergeist as well, isn't it? Oh, I forget who that guy is. Damn it. I must admit, I really do like the uh, the throwbacks. They're really cool. Oh, and I can actually use this to cook some of my meat. Okay, I just went and got the last one of those mushrooms, so let's go and hand them in at the catcher. Uh, yep, I got some. Here you go. Wow, great work. Proud of you. Let me see. Yeah, I risked my life fighting dozens of gigantic wasps the size of my forearm. You hand the mushrooms to the girl. She looks them over with the eye of a professional and satisfied with the quality gives you a smile. Oh my god, two different ones. I don't think you'd do the debater one. Top notch mushrooms I found. Really trying to sell it there. I almost died. I went to hell and back for those fungi. What do you say, madam? Mayhap your knight deserves a real reward for his epic deeds. <laughs> so how about talking to the head? Oh my hero. My own gallant Sir Borth. Here, have another 20, you know, for recuperation. <laughs> Not too bad, actually. Thanks a lot. Now, how about speak to the village head? Sure thing. I'll note Comrade Kovalev right now, saying I recommend you for hire. Go give it to him personally, since I'm sure he'll want to talk to you. He lives to the left of the bar entrance. Good luck. Thanks. I better go. I got some beer whilst I was here as well, so I might as well just... The waste have finally been cleansed of all radiation. To rid our land of the war fallout. The waste of rate. Wait, what?
<laughs> yeah. Free of radiation. And a little asterisk above it. Hey, so have you brought the beer? One beer coming up. The guard takes the bottle from you and eagerly drains half of it in a few loud gulps. He then hides the rest of the beer under his shirt. Thanks, buddy. You really helped me out. Oops. <laughs> Here's some money for your trouble. Thanks. Just don't get caught. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to rely on my stealth skill, because it's not that good. Well, let's speak to the man now. The leader of the village. Before you stands an old weather book. Clean. Uh, yeah. I've already done this one. I got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. I'm looking for work, you see. Interesting. Let me take a look at that note. Hand over the note. Comrade Kovalev takes your note and quickly reads it. You notice that he holds it very close to his eyes. Seems like the vision of the strong old man isn't as good as it was in his prime. Understandable, I guess. Seems that Katya Radchenko believes you can be trusted. Maybe so. In any case, you made an impression. And this is recommendation enough. Attention. You notice the real warmth in the head's voice when he talks about Katya from the tavern. His tone is almost fatherly. <laughs> ah, so a recommendation from a good source then. So how about that job? Yes, the job. The head thoughtfully cracks his knuckles. After that, he raises his gaze to you, looking as if he's reached a conclusion. Maybe I have a job for you after all. You've probably already heard about that bandit gang that terrorizes our village. Each month, they come to take our supplies away from us. If we don't pay up, they rob and kill our people. We tried fighting them, but to no avail. But now, looking at your honor's face, I've come up with a little plan. The head lowers his gaze again. It's hard for you to read him. He's either indecisive, or he's just trying to find the right words. I'm listening. The thing is, our village probably has a snitch living in it. A traitor. A rat. I'm sure about this. Oh yeah, I think I killed that one in the bunker. <laughs> Someone made a pact with the bandits and tells them everything that's going on around here. But with that said, I can't imagine who the rat is. And the bastard himself knows me and the other villagers too well to get caught. When we had mercenaries to protect us, the bandit already knew about it. And each time we trade for a bit of money, they attack. Someone is ratting us out. You're a new face in the region. It should be easy for the rat to trust you. Bring me the identity of the traitor. That's the job. And why do you trust me with that? I could be one of the bandits. The head laughs mirthlessly. I probably shouldn't have said that actually. <laughs> and appears to shrink a bit before you. His true age becomes more apparent and you realise he must be much older than 60. Right, old age for the apocalypse, I guess. I... Uh, I'll tell it to you straight. The village is slowly dying. The drought, the bandits, our young people always leaving. A few more years and we'll all be wiped off the map. The old timers will die, and the others will simply scatter. Some might even join the bandits. I really don't like my options, but it's probably our only hope right now. The last hope to change something. Fix something. Not to bring back what we lost, but at least to buy our settlement a little more time. If it must die, let it die honorably on its own, leaving warm memories in the hearts of the people. What's happening now? That's not even death. It's withering. It's rot. Yep, well. Yeah. It is a good thing to hope for, because it's all you can really hope in the end to stave out the inevitable. It's not good. Seems you need an investigation. Comrade Kovalev walks up to you. Do you agree, or do you decline? Say it straight. Eh, I agree. Where should I start? Where do you start? Let me just tell you in the village I do not suspect. For one, I completely trust my fighting men. Yan and Petra on the south and north gate respectively. They would not work for me otherwise. Trader Yashin may be a suspect. He's new in town, and he obviously has a shady past, but he does so much for the village. I'm expecting it's the guy who got me to fix the generator. He seems really weird. Might just be because he's a massive overt communist, but still. He built this shop with his own money. He pays taxes, and he suffers the bandits like everyone else. Dr. Mickey and an old Samoyan, uh, Semyon, I trust like I would trust myself. We built this village together, you know. They're good people, tested by time and loyal. Comrade Grankin, the village superintendent, on the other hand, is a cowardly, shifty person. But no, he's too cowardly. He'd never work with the bandits. It's much more profitable for him to keep his post in the village. And the bandits have no respect for him, and would probably shoot him for laughs if he tried to talk to them. Katya and Vashiradchenko, the owners of the tavern, have no reason to be snitches. They'd never do something like that. And the others? I don't know about the rest. Maybe you could give me some more clues? I suspect that the traitor is a man, not too old person that travels from time to time, but is ultimately lazy. The head wrinkles his nose. Those criminal types, they bore honest labour. They think that only the low people must work whilst they act like some aristocracy. Yeah, well I better start investigating. 
Hmm, so he's given me some good leads. I wonder whether that's written down in my journal. Uh, just, nope, just find the right in the village. Could be the guy in there with the... What's his face? This guy, the guy in here. With Mr... It's you, isn't it? The superintendent. Uh, it's just a question, I guess. Yeah. I'd like to get your opinion on the local bandits. Do they have a representative in the Wow, that's a bit, um... Honest? Man's face stays the same. It doesn't expose any emotions your words should have brought out. It's man that stays the same. This case is still pretty saucy. Thieves are thieves. What's there to say? They survive. That's it. Spits to one side and looks you insolently right in the eye. Do they suspect someone inside the village? Is there a spy around? And why are you interested anyway, comrade detective? Well, what if I want to join them? Yeah, look. What if the one who's working for the band has just left the village quietly, making no trouble for you or anyone else? Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. When you decide you're done with all the bullshit, sleeping under rocks, stealing dog food and all that stuff, there'll be a position available for you in our, um, I mean, their bandit camp. It's located not too far from here, in the abandoned factory. Why'd you like that kind of a career opportunity? I don't know why I don't have another option saying I'll consider it, because I don't really need to say that, see as he just ratted himself out. The rat rats himself. That's it. Whoa, whoa, quiet down, man. Yes, that's me. Though I resent being called a snitch. I'm more of an infiltrator, you know? Got sent here by my group. Anyway, my proposition is still open to you if you're interested. Yeah, I'm not accepting that. Stay here. I need to think for a while. Think quick. I'm getting pretty nervous about Kovalak hunting me, so I won't stick around here too long. If I see you leave the village, don't expect to find me here when you come back. I'll meet you at the abandoned factory. Sure, just don't leave yet. See, if I was him, as soon as I walked out the door, I would absolutely leg it. Although, I also wouldn't have, you know, pretty much admitted it was me who's with the bandits. But oh well, let's see what Kovalev does. There are some. I find your snitch. It's Griska, the young boy hanging around the village. I'd say he's quite a boy, but Kovalev slaps his forehead with regret. He looks angry, but also strangely shy, like he just did something stupid. Oh, of course, it was so obvious. The man drifts all around, never works for the benefit of the village, and speaks with characteristic street jargon words. Oh, I'm really growing blind in my old age. Why, just a few years ago, I'd have spotted him right from the start. Personality. That's a bit harsh. Hmm, maybe if I select that, he's going to sort of relinquish the leadership over to someone else. Oh god, hopefully not the superintendent. You're getting old, Comrade Kovalev. Ed's fierce eyes narrow to slits, but after a moment he sighs and slumps his shoulders. Yes, you're right. I'm too old and so very tired. Maybe it's time for you to step down his head? Maybe so, maybe so. But I'll think about it only after I've settled this whole bandit situation. One should never leave his business unfinished. Good. So, what do we do about it? Comrade Kovalev strokes his chin thoughtfully. He's probably thinking about his next step. You calmly await for his reply. Finally, the head claps his hands, showing he's reached some sort of decision. We must dispose of Griska the Snitch. This much is clear to me, but how? He wants to spread panic through the village and make the people nervous. He must be disposed of quietly, so nobody notices. I would be glad to help with the disappearing. Interesting. I would not ask why, but that's good to hear. What exactly do you propose? Attacking him in broad daylight? No, no, no. That will never work. I don't want to rouse panic in the village. The snitch must be dealt with quietly. It must appear as if he just left. Behind the fence, there's this abandoned building. How about you lure him out there, you know? Do the deed, cleanly. A rotten thing to do, especially by my standards. But sometimes one must do rotten things, if it means saving our little community from total obliteration. I don't know how you'll lure him there, but I grant you total freedom to do so. After the execution is carried out, return back to me. I would like to speak to you more about our future cooperation. It'll be done. I love the snitch to the abandoned house and, well, you know, gotta go. Wait a minute. Grishka. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. So that... Gree... on the... S uh, where is it? The toy machine got made out of wood. It says Gree. Is that Grishka, I guess? Part of the owner's name. That's weird, though. 
I mean, maybe I can find something more from him about that backstory. Ah, oh, love Loveland. Right, I'm gonna confront him very quick. Might as well get this over with. Voice answer, blah, blah, blah. Uh. <laughs> um. I was... <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a little bit more subtlety, but I'm going to actually say it before I do this because I don't know whether there's a roundabout way to do it. I could go into other options, but I'm going to just say it. Listen, you don't have anything against going over to that abandoned building over there, right? I'm not planning to execute you or anything. The snitch looks at you suspiciously. Nice the surroundings. To gain his trust, you need to trick him somehow. Why would I do that? Hmm... Listen, pal, two of my buddies are looking for a place to stay just like I am. They're squatting in that abandoned house over there. We should probably pay them a visit. Success. The man calms down a bit and nods. So your buddies are in that abandoned building over there? I know where it is. Yep, but they're not the trusting stuff. If you go there alone, they'll hide. So what am I supposed to do? I'll join you and call them out. Oh, don't tell him he's going to walk all the way there. Oh, God. Do I just have to... Wait, can I not follow him? Hello? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you there. Well, just got myself some food. Thought I might as well heal to my new cap, seeing as I've leveled up. And I'm going to put some points in there and see what I need. But first, to deal with the rat. Man looks around sheepishly and cowers from any noise he overhears. Uh, oh, what's going on? Death shall be the main course today, and I am the chef. Eh, too corny. Time to die, you filthy animal. Eh, too home alone. Sorry, man. It's nothing personal. You asshole, you love me here to kill me. Well, we'll see who kills who. It's where I'm gonna die, isn't it? Oh, he's got a ship. Ow! Why does everyone act before me? Ow. I thought I had okay initiative. Whoops, oh my image. Shit. Oh well. Oh. Yes, that's it. Do me the honor. Should I run? I don't think I can outpace him and I don't want him to like bolt to the side of the map. I guess I just have to fight him. I thought we were supposed to dispose of him quietly. <laughs> Maybe if I... I'm just gonna leg it. Let's see. Oh, he's got about the same running distance as me. Oh, I should have had health stuff ready. Aha! Now you have to suffer the fate of broken ships. Yeah, I did use that myself. Good. Spits out blood. Oh, that might have been a waste of that stim pack then. Wait, is he not actually attacking me? Oh no, he's definitely attacking me. Ow! There we go. Little ragdoll effect there. Well, that was, um, I dealt with that heroically. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's got some dice. A thief passport. Put a crude stamp with only one word, crook. Why would you put crook on a passport? Makes it kind of obvious. So no one heard that, uh, that exchange at all? Definitely. Well, I've got to stop thinking I can get the first shot off, I guess. Seeing as everyone seems to have higher initiative than me. Apparently sequence 15 is pretty bad. I mean, my dex isn't bad, and that is my attention. 
Let's just be screwed compared to everyone else. I might put a couple more points in tech at least. Wait. Yeah. Put another point in tech. I don't think I'm going to go back to the lab just yet because I need to fight my way through those three guys. So I need some companion. Uh, first aid, I don't think so. Might put some points into rifles and pistols. I do tinkering, but I don't really have too much that I can craft right now. It seems that the crafting materials I need are a bit stranger. Like I'm not, I'm not getting even things like shawls and that that I can make bags out of. So let's have a look. I'm gonna put, I say. I'm gonna get that to 50 and rifles and shotguns up to 40. And then I'm gonna put a couple of points into speech. And in this, so I have five points, next one's three, which means that next level I can get one and this level I can get one too. So I could get Monster Lore Expert. Quick reload's a little bit down the line, but I think that's the best one out of this. I know I'm using pistols a lot, but I'm going to hope that in the future I'm not going to be using them as much. So I'm going to go for Monster Lore Expert next level. Yeah, so next level I can get one. And there's going to be a few more, three more levels until I can get another one, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Don't know what I'll do then. Might do night fighting. So that'd be good when get scopes. Yeah. Well, anywho, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Yeah. Have a good one. Catch you on the rebound.